Hey folks, it's Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. We are having fun playing the post plotline game. Sure, I'll enter Fort Raven. I suppose I could have stopped to talk to the cop there. But hopefully there'll be time to do that later as well. Bustling with traveling merchants. And happy time music. Come on. There it is. Do 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 do. We all beat the bloody Bentus, and we also killed Daniel. He has been executed. He, he died for his crimes. This guy hates the travel wheel. Come back on foot if you want to talk with me. I got to park the travel mobile. Hop on here. I do kind of want to go see that guy, see whether or not he appreciates how much uh, use we've gotten out of his bicycle. See that? Ah, I remember you. I believe you've had my bicycle for quite some time now. So, have you reached a verdict? How was the bicycle? Have you learned how dangerous trotmobiles are by comparison? I believe horses are the future. It's all too confusing, sorry. Good or evil depends on the rider. You are right about everything. Aha, you are quite stubborn, not that I'm one to talk. I believe within the decade, trotmobiles will cease to exist. People will bend them for the greater good. You need to return the bicycle. Consider it a gift. Well then, good luck on your future endeavors. Oh, okay. Well, I could have told him that uh, he was right and the Travmobiles would... Uh, Travmobiles sucked. I just wanted to tell him, hey, the bicycle is a nice invention, but it won't replace the Travmobile. Like, they're not for the same purpose. But, uh, apparently... You know, you can't get into those kinds of specifics with games like this sometimes. Just not their way. No way. Let's go ahead and open and continue. Zabala Hill. I remember Zabala Hill. Do you guys remember Zabala Hill? Yeah, Zabala Hill is the place where you go pick up rocks and throw them at these dudes. The dudes being dervishes. Whoops. Okay, so it's not a perfect system. Oh, wait a minute. Honey, I got honey. Honey, I love you. Oh, the other one is just too fast. You have to go in and uh, clock them twice. And I wasn't fast enough. I get it now. I'm sure that with all these other dervishes it will be perfectly fine. Fifteen you are were obtained. Fifteen you are. More you are. You are a champion. And more honey. This place is the place to go if you want small amounts of cash and items that will please Connie. Oh, I'm pleasing Connie. 
Now, there's still one orphan left at the orphanage there, and she had a thank you letter for the flowers that I need to deliver, so I suppose there's no real point in going back uh, there just yet. Give me that fuel! The precious juice! We got yogurt. Yogurt. You know what, even before I go back to Nefroburg, I'm going to take care of that little unfinished strand of business. That, and uh, I go visit Vision Ranch, where good old Dr. Nutsack is. I'm sorry, Dr. Nutmeg. Oh man, we're never going to have an excuse to uh, talk to Dandelion again and uh, have him say things in his uh, slash voice. Or soon so voice. Either way, yeah, that those things aren't going to happen now. That's a shame. <sighs> this is a fun game, folks. And it's a polite enough game that it allows you to finish your side quests, even after the plot is over. Which is good, because the plot does put sort of a false sense of rush on you. Because, I mean, you, I mean, to hear the game tell it, like, it's serious business, and you need to, you know, like, save the people right away. I got a leg. I love beating these guys to death with their own legs. One of the more amusing uh, combat mechanics of this game, I find. Hopefully Dudley's not in here uh, attacking flowers because they suck. Good, good. He does not appear to be doing that. Have you guys rebuilt your house? Hey, he looks like you sort of have. Let's park the trap mobile. Okay, so maybe not entirely there. Hey there, ma'am. Good afternoon. So, uh, you guys couldn't really do the whole getting the place fixed up thing, huh? Did you give those seeds like I asked you to? Did you do it? Yep. Here's a letter she gave me. You handed over thank you letter for the seeds. She read the letter. So she really does like flowers. I thought she was bullshitting me. I know. Why doesn't she come here and live with me, surrounded by flowers? Please take this letter back to her. You obtained a letter from the beekeeper's daughter. I'll be waiting, okay? This is awesome. I'm gonna find homes for all those little orphans. The orphans. So, anybody down here? Nope, just treasure I've stolen from them already. Hehehe. <laughs> I mean, I guess the space is, in theory, still livable, although uh, I imagine it's not waterproof. Or, you know, uh, very well uh, shielded against the elements. However I mean to say that. Hey, you beekeeper man. We depend on the bees to do what they do best. 
Did you come here to stock up on our prize winning honey? No, I didn't. Come back any time. You need to get some more honey. I'll bear it in mind, Chuckles. Yes, die. Die surrounded by your own legs. Ha 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 ha. LOL. Little your smiley face. Donk. This is the way to do things, folks. It's just the way to do things. Oh, there's a giant rock there that would explain why I can't get around. I... I can't get around him! Yep, let's go to Wagtail Canyon. Taking the long way around to see Connie, folks. You may have noticed that at this point. Considering I know where she is, but I'm still following the advice of people who don't know where she is. On how to best find her. Yeah, you uh, just go over there and blow up, why don't you? Ooh, and when I come back this way, I gotta go check out my awesome mother load spot and uh, fill up with some dung or something. Yeah, I need to go get some fossilized dung. I know, it's pretty much just fossils and stuff that are left. But I'll continue on to Vision Ranch anyway. Watch me, I'll do it the open grasslands bordering a beautiful lake. You can watch the sheep nibble grass all day, every day. Alright. As long as I'm already walking on the rail line, I'm going to go over to the rail line because this is where I plan to give away this steel. I believe they said they needed steel beams. You know, not. I thought they needed steel beams. Now what the hell am I going to do with these steel beams? Well, crap. Would you like to purchase a ticket? Where do the tickets go? Go to Nuffhaven, Happy Garland, or Nefroburg. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good day, you may purchase tickets at the counter. Yeah, what the... Is it just me? That looks like the rail line now extends over to, uh... Whatever it's called, Lake Luminoso Land, but I apparently can't get there on the train from here. Can't get there from here! That's a pisser, ain't it? What's going on here? I've already forgotten. I joined the Foreign Legion to forget. No? Forget what? 
I have forgotten. Stop! It's a no trespassing sign. What a nice view. I can see me and Village from across the lake here. Oh, really? I don't see nothing. Holy crap, it's a flying trap mobile! Oh my god! No! I guess they uh, replicated the parts. Fairy ticket lady. Oh dear, you defeated the giant fish? I was really rooting for that fish. You're saying it was actually a machine that could dive underwater? Who cares as long as it's gone? Quit boring me with your jealous stories. Thank you so much. Wait, so, like I can't get a ticket now? Oh no, they want boss elephant. Chip. Ha. <laughs> I'm coming in, lady. Oh, never mind. It's locked. Oh, okay. So, apparently you can't get a ferry ticket for some reason. Gah. Oh, so I have steel beams now. The question is, who can use steel beams that's not... Me. Maybe the brothers up here can. Maybe I can't help but a bit hooked on the brothers. Because they need raw materials to make new tromobile parts. That would be handy. Oh, you're back. Do you want to fly too? Go attach the flying parts to your tromobile. You can use Dr. Nutmeg's garage. Yeah, I could. Or I could just come in here. Hey, what gives, man? Let me in here, it's your stuff. I'm gonna go park the trial mobile and get in here at their stuff. Experiments haven't been kind of this trial mobile, his legs are worn out. Alright, there's one object I know. Could these be the blueprints of the flat flyer? They could be, but they're not. Yep, they're out there flying around. Well, all right. Let's head up here to the crazy trotmobile shaped uh, land that is uh, Doctor Nutmeg's place. But uh, let's go ahead and save the data first. Let's go ahead and save Metal Gear's test data. Well, darn! Now I got those steel beams. I don't know what to do with them. Ah, oh, well. Save was successful, anyways. At least something's going right. But anyhow, when we come back, we're gonna talk to Dr. Nutmeg. He's the one that called Dr. Nutmeg. He's the one that makes you feel alright. Anyhow, the folks, this is Bubba the Vulture, this is Let's Play Steambot Chronicles, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.